about 100 SMF custodian employees are concerned about the future of their job. Thank you so much for joining us on To The Point. I'm Alex Bell, and for the past 11 years, the county contracted a local nonprofit to help keep some SMF workers employed. And as our Ginny Nguyen found out, the county is ending that contract and choosing a new company that's headquartered out of state. <laughs> SMF is a busy place and many people don't think twice about these garbage and recycle bins or even this caution sign. But for the past 11 years, these have been signs of Pride Industries. Over 35% of our employees have disabilities at the airport. Uh, for our, co our company wide, we're about over 50% of our employees uh, have disabilities. But on Tuesday, the Sacramento County Board of Supervisors decided Pride Industries time at SMF was over. Uh, we've been visiting with our team the last two days, letting them know about the bad news. County staff uh, weighed the options between Pride and Tennessee based company Total Maintenance Management or TMM. It looks like the indirect cost overhead and profit uh, for Pride was about 213% more. On top of cost, Supervisor Rich Desmond expressed concerns about the quality of work. Performance issues, there, there were some issues regarding performance. County staff confirming those issues had been ongoing. They've been penalized in all but one month for failure to meet the goals that they themselves set. But Pride CEO Jeff Dern doesn't agree. Oh, we're very proud of our performance. Um, our performance scores have only gone up and up and up the last three years. Current employees showed up to Tuesday's meeting to voice their concerns about the the possibility of losing their jobs. We are here today to ask the Sacramento Board of Supervisors to protect jobs for people with disabilities and support Pride Industries. TMM's CEO told the board that retaining current employees is their priority. We will fully comply with the Displaced Janitors Act, and it's not only uh, TMN's intent, but it's our preference to transition all existing Pride employees. In a three to two vote, Supervisors Hume and Frost voting against the item. The board moved ahead with awarding TMM the new contract. While it's not something Dern wanted to hear, he says he's always open to working with SMF again. And Jeannie joins us now. Jeannie, to be clear, even though the county did not renew their contract with Pride Industries, they are still working with government agencies, local companies in our area, right? Yeah, you know, Pride CEO did tell me that they still have a small contract with Sacramento County. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, they also have a contract with the city of Sacramento. And they are still working with contracts with other government agencies like Placer County and even with companies like SMUD. All right, Jenny, we appreciate the update. Thank you so much.